Theodore Kittleson, born in 1857, was a respected artist known for his beautifully haunting illustrations of Norwegian nature and folklore. Born into a modest family in a coastal town in Norway, Kittleson was the fourth of eight siblings. Despite their limited means, his family supported his artistic talent. His journey to becoming an artist wasn't straightforward. After his father passed away, Kittleson, then only 11, was sent to work as an apprentice to a watchmaker. However, his talent was not to be undiscovered. In 1874, Kittleson's drawings captured the attention of a local merchant who offered to sponsor his education at a drawing school in Oslo. Once Kittleson had proven his talent in Oslo, he set his sights on an even grander stage. Munich, Germany. Munich, in the late 19th century, was a city that was not just on the cutting edge of artistic movements, but also a vibrant and inspirational place where artists from all over the world converged. It was the perfect backdrop for a young artist eager to expand his creative horizons. At the heart of Kittleson's Munich experience was his time at the prestigious Royal School of Art. Known for its rigorous curriculum and high-profile instructors, this school played an essential role in refining Kittleson's artistic skills and deepening his understanding of art theory and practice. He learned new techniques, studied the masters, and was exposed to diverse styles, further enriching his artistic repertoire. Kittleson's artistic journey took a pivotal turn when he was commissioned to illustrate a collection of fairy tales compiled by renowned Norwegian authors. This body of work, filled with stories imbued with the mysticism and enchantment of Norwegian folklore, was a golden opportunity for Kittleson to bridge his artistic skill with the lore of his homeland. Kittleson approached these illustrations with an uncanny ability to capture the fantastical essence of the fairy tales, reimagining them through his uniquely evocative visual lens. He wasn't merely providing visual accompaniments to the stories, but was adding another layer of narrative complexity through his art. His illustrations held the power to captivate the viewer, drawing them deeper into the magical realms of trolls, mythic creatures, and forest spirits that so richly populate Norwegian folklore. Each stroke of his brush was steeped in a deep understanding and respect for these stories, ensuring the authenticity of his renditions. In short, Kittleson's work on these fairy tales wasn't just a breakthrough in his career. It was a remarkable fusion of art and narrative, bridging the gap between the oral tradition of storytelling and the visual medium of expression. He didn't just depict tales, he breathed life into them, enhancing their inherent enchantment and ensuring their enduring place in Norwegian cultural history. Despite his success, Kittleson's life was not without struggles. He battled with illness and financial difficulties, but these challenges only seemed to deepen his connection with the darker aspects of Norwegian folklore, with themes of death, darkness, and the supernatural becoming more prominent in his later work. Kittleson passed away in 1914, but his legacy remains. Over a century later, his hauntingly beautiful illustrations continue to captivate audiences, his legacy preserved in the echoes of his brushstrokes and the enduring power of his imagery. Kittleson's works have become an intrinsic part of Norway's cultural heritage. His illustrations serve as tangible links to the country's rich folklore tradition, a unique blend of art and narrative that continues to enchant and inspire. Museums and galleries across Norway proudly display his pieces, and his works have found their way into numerous art history books and curricula, acknowledging his integral role in Norway's artistic heritage. However, his impact isn't limited to visual art alone. Kittleson's illustrations have inspired musicians, particularly within the black metal genre. Norwegian band Burzum, for example, used Kittleson's art for several of their album covers, showcasing his influence in this unexpected arena. While Kittleson may have passed in 1914, his spirit lives on through his art, continuing to inspire and influence. His work encapsulates the timeless allure of folklore and the undeniable power of visual storytelling. His legacy, beautifully intertwined with the cultural fabric of Norway and beyond, is a testament to his enduring impact in the art world.